I think the perfect definition of love would be coming from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. And it says, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, and keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always, pre always preserves, and love never fails. Love of my life, I'm deep in Love is not giving up on someone. It's incomparable. You give all of your hope and all of your caring and that will make a love and that is faithful because to you and to your other families will feel your love and care for them. It's not just for couples, it's for everyone. It's a celebration of love for your family, your friends, and for your loved ones. It's just two people spending time together or a whole family just cherishing the moment. It's to celebrate the heart the loves loving each other like hair because there are some days when it's beautiful perfect and then there are some days when it's just messed up to love not just you know another person to love your whole family as a whole and to show your love to everybody around you is spending time with the people you love and showing them that you love them more and accepting them it's a wonderful love Love is a feeling between each other and, and especially with God. The ability to do something or anything for someone you love without asking for anything in return. It is a blessing from God and God gives you the ability to bless others through your love and through your affection. There's a bond between a husband and a wife and as well as a bond between you and God. It means showing God's love, not the world's love. It is a feeling that you, you can feel and you can't buy. It is life one? We come in unity. Variety. We don't love just one person. We love everybody with God's love. And E is for everlasting. Everlasting forgiveness. Everlasting love. Everlasting everything. It's like loving to be like your family. And for to spend the rest of the time with your family. Valentine's Day is a celebration of exchanging tokens of affection with the people you love, and not just specifically for couples, but to everyone in your life that you care about. It's a celebration of appreciation and admiration. The strong feeling towards something or someone. Knowing the true heart of God and being able to return that love um, the best way you can to others and to God. Um, it can be displayed in yes. sisterhood, brotherhood, just being there for someone, and in marriage when the time comes. When people say, I love you despite of, rather than I love you because, and despite your flaws, and despite what you've said, despite hurts, I choose to love you, and I still love you.